What is up, guys? Welcome to unboxings and recent pickups. We got a quick one for you here. We got the latest and greatest from Insomniac Games. The one you've all been waiting for. The one they said is truly next gen. The PlayStation 5 exclusive you've been waiting for since the, the, since the launch. Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, is finally here. And if you guys joined me the other night live on stream, I did start my playthrough. I'll tell you right now, I'll have an early impressions review on this soon. But from what I could tell you, this game is a stunner. This game is a stunner. Visually, it's absolutely incredible. Gameplay, it's incredible. The story is good. Um, the variety of weapons, the upgrade system, the graphics will make your head spin. I don't care what mode you play it on. Fidelity, w whatever, performance mode. Whether you play this with the 4K ray tracing with 30 frames per second, or there's even a mode where you could do without 4K but 60 frames per second with ray tracing. Whatever you choose to play this with, whatever graphics mode, this game is unbelievable. You can zoom in on characters and literally see particles and patterns on their nose and, and hair. It's, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like this done before. The game runs smooth, and we're having a lot of fun, and you can tell on stream, um, I'm whipping through levels, and I'm taking my time, and I'm doing the upgrade system, and I'm buying different weapons, I'm buying different gadgets, they call them, and upgrade, and I got some kind of like day one, um, early unlock for Carbonox armor set and Pixelizer weapon, it's because I pre-ordered this from Amazon, so I got some DLC expansions, uh, Free codes already. So I got that. Here's the inside, guys. If you want to see the inside. Really nice uh, picture disc there. And the code for the DLC is inside that, that uh, sheet there. But I'm going to actually take the disc out because they haven't really done much, much with PlayStation 5 games. I know oh, PS4 has a lot of this, but it's got that reversible cover. So if you actually take the cover, you can reverse it and have a different artwork. I think that's really good. I know it's hard to see with the glare, but man. So yeah, I mean, you know the game was hyped. And we all know about... We all know about hyped games. So, Sean, was the game worth the hype, the wait? I know I'm really early into it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm, I might be biased because I'm a big fan of the Ratchet and Clank series, playing, having played them all. And the, what was it, the 2016 Ratchet and Clank? Oh, my God. The one that was based off the movie. Insane. This. And they're right. You know, is this really next gen? I absolutely believe so. I mean, there was no loading times. Um, it looks fantastic on my LG to television. The gameplay is nice and fluid. I like the movements. I like what they added to Ratchet and Clank. Um, I like the humor. I like the story. Um, I like the worlds, the environments. Everything is jiving. Everything is going together, you know? It's either it's got it or it doesn't. So I'm really, really liking Ratchet and Clank. Um, so that's kind of like an unboxing and, and early, early impressions. So I hope you join me. Twitch.tv backslash Murray NJ08. For more gameplay, more coverage. If you miss the gameplay, the live streams, um, I will archive some of them to my YouTube channel so you can go back and, and watch. And I'll be probably uploading 
one or two of them very soon. So if you can't make the streams, understandable. Um, I'll try to get them up soon. We are also mixing it up live on stream with um, that and Biomutant and Mass Effect Legendary Edition, plus many more. I'm going to be starting Outriders very soon. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining me on this unboxing and recent pickups. Take care, everybody.